please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Good morning, dogs. And happy hump day. It's time for weather with Ivan. It's currently 32 degrees. At lunch, it's going to be 43. At 3, it's going to be 49. Today, expect some few rain showers and tonight, some light snow. Yes, snow. Next week is going to be better with the high of 60s all week. The cold is finally leaving. Now, back to the studio. Thanks, Ivan. You look pretty cold today. Today is the day your cap and gown and graduation orders will be available for pickup at lunch. The FHS Theater presents Bye Bye Birdie the Musical Wednesday, April 25th, Friday the 27th, and Saturday the 28th. The show starts at 7 p.m. and tickets cost $8 for adults and $5 for K-12. through Come check out a great family-friendly show. The Clinton County College and Career Fair is today from 5.30 to 7 at the fairgrounds. There will be a Best Buddies fundraiser at Dairy Queen tonight from 4 to 9. 15% of all sales will go towards Best Buddies. In order to purchase prom tickets, each student must have a signed permission slip. Remember that tickets are $20 this week and will return to the price of $25 next Monday. The Industrial Pallet Corporation is hiring. No necessary experience is required. You must be 18 years of age and be able to pass a drug test. Thank you to Mrs. Schaefer's community class for filling buddy bags this week. And shout out to Maria Barrios for creating the Week 30 menu. The Epics class needs one first-generation Kinect camera in good working condition. Mr. Smith is willing to pay $20 for the camera. Contact Mr. Smith if you have one. Now to something special. Mr. Hutton will be announcing the next year's drum major. Hey, it's Mr. Hutton. I'm here with a special announcement. I'm here to announce our drum major for next year, and it's none other than the awesome Aranza Barrios. She's wonderful. She deserves it. We're going to be doing the greatest showman for our marching band show this year. She's going to be a wonderful director of that show, and she and I need your help to make it possible. We're recruiting our talent, and it could be you. Join marching band. Join Aranza. Make it a wonderful summer. We march in July. We take June off, but starting July, see you on the marching band field with me and Aranta, our new drum major. Thank you, Mr. Hutton. And again, congratulations to Aranta Barrios for being next year's drum major. We can't wait to see what you'll do next year. It's now time for sports with Nick. Thank you. In hot dog varsity softball action, uh, they fell 11 and 13 to 0 at home on Tuesday. The dogs started with some strong defense, but started on the offensive side. Avery Drew led the hot dogs going two for two. Kate Roberts and Kylie Norman each went one for two, and Chloe Roberts went one for three. Drew pitched two and two-thirds innings, allowing only three hits, striking out one, and walking one. The JV team opened their season at home against Lebanon, falling to the Tigers four to six. Jocelyn Markham took the loss, pitching five innings, allowing five hits, and striking out two. Bailey Wessel led the hot dogs going two for two with a double and a single. Both teams are back in action Wednesday at 5.30 p.m. hosting Lafayette Jeff. The Lady Hot Dogs tennis team traveled to West Lafayette to take on the Red Devils. The team suffered their first loss of the season. While the team lost, all their matches were very close with long points and rallies, and thus the box score isn't really reflective of the actual match play. The Lady Hot Dogs are now 4-1, a great start to the season, and have a home match Wednesday versus Kokomo and also an away match Thursday at Tipton. Varsity baseball team defeated Lebanon last night 3-2. Christian Lopez threw a complete game and added a two-run home run. Jack Espinoza had two hits, and Omar Olanis had a hit and an RBI. The team is now 5-3 overall and 3-0 in the conference. So that's it for sports. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Nick. It's always good to see the hot dogs in action during sports events. Reminder that we will have school on Friday. It is a snow makeup day, unfortunately. Mr. Payton's community is to go to Mrs. Lovis's room, room 113, for community today. That's been it for today, but we're going to leave you with a video of Madison Jarbo speaking about her hot dog experience. My 
favorite memory here has to be harassing Marge every day <laughs> <laughs> for three years straight now. I am excited to come to see what is coming for me in the next few years, and I'm very excited to, to be doing what I love, especially traveling, which I'll be traveling with Ms. Hernandez and hopefully Ms. Woodard next year to Panama. But I'm very excited, and I'm very thankful. This has been eight. Have you seen this man production?